we'll be, uh, we're just sharing to our pages and then we'll be starting the show momentarily. As you can see, I have Richard Moody with me. You need help? Do you have it? Me? Yeah. I might need help. Okay, we'll come and help you. Got it? So, we'll do... Oh, wait, that's not going. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. We're live. And so you're going to do share post now. That post is... Is that cool? Mm -hmm. And then... Okay. Cool, huh? And now I don't have to do anything else. Right? No, no, you just have to talk. <laughs> no, I'll introduce us. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Around Town TV. My name is Carla Berlin, and I am so excited today to have one of the most stylishly minded men known in the Twin Cities, who is also a uh, philanthropist. He's a promoter. He's a, uh, a producer, excuse me, businessman, and one of the Twin Cities powerhouses. It is Richard Moody. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you for letting me be here. And I came to the suburbs. I know. That's a big deal. So I Am Moody, what is that business? You know, I Am Moody is a small company that really works with brands. Mm -hmm. And our leather handle is a lot of production, fashion, and philanthropic. Really helping anyone who wants to make money. We want to help them make money. And I focus a lot on inner city. If yeah. it's Sabathany, Hallie Q. Brown, Martin Luther King Center, you know, things that aren't don't have a big presence but right. need big money. Well, and you're an advocate for that. I know yeah. I, you're around the holidays. I'm always a part yes. of your holiday. And who that is for? It's been for Hallie Q. Brown. It's been for okay. domestic abuse. It's yeah. been for The Link, which helps homeless and truant youths. And then we've done Sabathany Horizon Youth Program. And this will be the 27th year we, we've done it or doing it. It started in my home, got to hundred people, and we pulled it out. Oh, it's been it's yeah. been so great to be a part of that. So you've been working on a lot of events, and yeah. the snowstorm did us in a little bit, and, and you just had like three in a row. We just had three jobs in a row. You know, you know, you talk about weather and being focused, and you know, having to be flexible. Right. We just got done on Sunday doing forty year of um, Aveda student fashion show. Uh huh. We lost about five models, lost the designer, but it was very successful. So Veda Institute, 40 years, uh, 400 Central Avenue Northeast. We had a lot of local designers as well as vendors participate. So 51 really great models, and wow. their focus was a lot of diversity. Right. And, you know, with highly textured hair and curly hair and avant-garde hair. You know, so making all that work in production, and we did a, we had a live female DJ, we call her Afro um, J. LaKay, KJ, oh, cool. with her big Afro, kind of like Cleopatra Jones. Right. Yeah. Well, and um, for those of you who maybe are tuning in, um, my name is Carla Berlin. This is Around Town TV with Richard Moody from I Am Moody. He's a promoter, businessman, producer. Um, a lot of you know him and have seen him around town, pun intended. Yes. Um, feel free uh, to uh, comment, ask questions, because you've got him here live. I had the pleasure, and it was totally by accident for Can Do Canines, remember yes, that? Yes, yes. They had asked me to model in their fashion show, and I think someone forgot to tell them I'm only 5'1 on a good hair day. So I show up, I'm like the only white girl, <laughs> and thank God for the dog, and the dog yeah. is even black. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I, you know, you made it work though. You, He had me all pinned in, and the makeup and the hair. And well, we treat everyone as like, like their model, and I should say right. this is be my 27th year working for fashion review for 4-H kids. And so even when our young people coming from the 86 different counties, when they get to me at the state level, we treat them as if they're models. And I think it puts them at ease. We have a good time because there's not so much being on the runway, it's things that happen behind the stage. And that's where we want to encourage them to go to. You know, fashion's great, but it's the madness behind the scenes. It's a lot of fun. Well, it is madness. And I have, all, right. at, well, I originally met Richard at Dancing with the Twin City Celebrities. Yes. Um, well, actually, I met you through Robin Wolfram years ago in 2010, and then in 2011, you, you've been a celebrity judge almost every year. Yes. And were the year I competed as a celebrity dancer, and we've just gotten to know each other yeah. and been a part of that. But what was really neat to watch him actually put on an event, yeah. you're not kidding. Like, I walked in, it was like, what? What just happened? Oh, yeah. And the event was done, and I was like, you just yeah. like, whip, snip, snap, and everything Well, you know, it's interesting about fashion shows, and yeah. I think... The Twin Cities doesn't kind of really have the concept. 
they think fashion shows have a bar in a mission. Right. And really in Fashion Week, and I've worked in several different countries for Fashion Week, mm -hmm. it's, it's like 13 minutes, 20 minutes. Right. And all this prep that goes into it, hair and makeup, casting the models, choreography, fittings, the top of fittings, and then it's done in 15 minutes. Right. There is no bar in a mission. You know. Right. So they are doing that because they've had to rent a venue. So when I work in a production, I try to give them the realism. You know, and I work in South Africa in Cape Town. I produce there. I'm also a model of an agency called Boss, and mm -hmm. I've been in nine different markets growing up. And yes. I'm 61, so I started when I was like 18, and I started as a university cheerleader. And they would use university cheerleaders to do things for Donaldsons and Daytons and right. Powers wow. and everything like that. So. So you started, so no wonder, because you have modeled yourself, yes. and then, and, and I did know that, and I knew you were signed with the agencies, yeah. but what, you know what surprised me the most in watching you put that together, and you're right, you are, I could tell, you know, he's a pro, yeah. so of course it's going to be a professional, is when everyone changed, just like, we had their two or three outfits, yeah. got buck naked right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Our women are very interesting, you and yeah. the men, we do respect them, but the women will tend, you know, to cover themselves, yeah. and the men... You know, and by the way, not all male models are gay. Right. So, you know, they learn how to look away. Right. And we all look away. And right. um, and so it's quick. I mean, you have to drop trial and you just yep. get into the next outfit. We typically have dressers and everything like that. Yeah. Well, and I did love that. But it was. We dropped trial. We changed. And I was standing there going, I can't believe. I, you know, I was almost 50. I just changed in front of these cute young kids. And, and she's a hot 50, I have to oh, tell you. Hot, oh, sexy 50. You're so I'm sitting next to her. Hot, sexy 50. No. <laughs> Likewise, my friend. Yes. I'm yeah. so grateful that you're able to be on here, oh, this show, yeah. and, and share. And it looks like we've got a, quite a few people uh, watching, including my mom. Oh, uh, we was, love mom. He was upstairs. We're my being mom, naughty. Yeah, my mom was flirting with him. Yeah, don't was, tell my dad. It was an honor, you know. Yeah, she loves you. No, yeah. we were laughing. And um, we do have quite a few people turning in. I want to say hi to Alan, Mike, Kate from Florida is tuning in. Lynn Rogers, I believe she's in Florida. Nancy Keys. Um, and of course, we just said my mom and um, Diana, and I want to do a quick shout out to Diana and Scott of Scott and Die Photography. Um, Diana from her What's Next uh, with Diana Pierce show, her and I sometimes will help each other, and they're here tonight uh, behind the scenes. And if any of you have never seen their photography work, you need to go to Bashio because it's there how long? Till August. Till August, and it is fantastic. I mean, these, you know, how many on air talents? can be that amazingly talented behind the scenes. Yes. And of course, Scott's work as well is extremely talented, thus Scott and Die Photography. Right, right. But check it out, you guys. Go to Baccio and check that out. Um, they're here, though, helping us, so I wanted to do a special shout-out. They're doing amazing. They mic me. Yeah, they do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All I did was give you a beer. <laughs> oh, gosh. Maybe so, a mic. Yeah, yes. exactly. So we talked about the one event, but I know you've got a few others. Let's talk about some of the upcoming events. Well, we have upcoming now, we've created an initiative called Afro Art MN, which is really supporting um, the Afro artists, the whole African diaspora in terms of getting them creative. And we're doing it at Cooper, oh, at cool. West End. So it's, awesome. it's actually called Afro MN Sunday Fun Day. And what's going to happen is from, I think, 1 to 5, people are going to come in. There's going to be an African DJ. We have a featured DJ, DJ Short Leg. We're also going to bring in an artist and then a clothing vendor. And the whole idea is to really get young African Americans and Black Americans and anyone else to really network and mentor. Because so many times people stay within their boxes. Yeah, they do. And they don't think that you're accepted. No, come to the West End, come to the Cooper, you know, leave Fridley, leave Brooklyn Park, you know, leave North Minneapolis and, you know, come out to West End. And there's going to be cocktails and dancing. It's, we're going to be doing it. I think um, May 20th, June 3rd, June 17th, and we'll probably continue on. And the Cooper, I have to give them a shout out, we're so excited about the whole thing. Because they're literally on, they're just on the edge of North Minneapolis. And they right. understand the importance of being inclusive. Right. And not exclusive. And so many times I think, you know, people don't feel welcomed, or they don't think they're welcome. And so right. the, the Cooper is like, we're in it. So there's cocktail specials and everything like that. So we've got that coming up. And when then is that? When is that, date? that the first one is May twentieth from one to five okay. at the Cooper. So every other Sunday, mm -hmm. and then I'm producing something which is interesting for Minnesota Black Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. My client is um, Houston White. Wow. He's also one of our Minnesota dandies, which is a part of. Um, he has a line called Made in America, right. which is interesting. So it's going to be a lot with Buffalo collections, 
black excellence, and I'm wearing one of their I Am Minneapolis, and we're going to have to have you because we're going to do a whole photo shoot with oh. key influences in the Twin Cities, and we're going to be wearing this I Am Minneapolis oh, t-shirt. So, so I want cool. you to do it. It's going to be, oh, you know, a lot you. of different people, you know. Oh, mine will be a dress on me. I'm no, sure. we'll, we'll, you, we'll give you a kid small. Oh, there you go. So we've got that coming up, oh, and then, you know, I, then I've got 4-H happening, and then I'm a part of our Dandy Project, which was an initiative for men, particularly, you know, men who have a heart to give, charitable heart, and then we mentor young kids of color. Wow. So the whole idea, we do a different books. It's called the Minnesota Dandy Project. So a young man can buy the, read the book and see our faces and read our story and then realize, you know, you can come in a lot of different colors. You come from a lot of different walks of life. And we want them to be pulling themselves forward by reading our stories. And we didn't get to where we're at without, you know, some, some struggles and having people you know, push us and bring us forward. Absolutely. I just wanted to make mention of Bill Kahn Jr. wrote Awesome and Kate Kaminsky wrote What a Great Show. Love the diversity yeah. of your guests. Always fun to watch. And, and, and that's really a tribute to Richard. When I think of the biggest advocate in the Twin Cities for diversity, oh, it is you. Thank you. And, and it, it gives me chills because yeah. there's nobody who fights harder right. and is mentoring and out there and is a leader with right. philanthropic duties right. such as your... You know, well, I would say that. the Twin Cities, you know, because we're talking about the Twin Cities, the Twin Cities is not racist. Uh, Minnesota, St. Paul is not racist. I think the people just stay within their boxes and they're comfortable. Right. And I think it's right. people, uh, diverse people, we have to put ourselves out there. Mm -hmm. And no one owes us anything. We owe it to ourselves to put ourselves out there. Yeah. And be at the right spots and go to the right things, support things. Right. You know, can-do canines. We learned that, that the police chiefs have a gala. Can, you know, can-do right. canines needs to support the police chiefs. I mean, everyone is in this together. And I think you and a lot of us are all trying to make sure everyone's inclusive. Even and Mimi's works. in it, too. And Mimi's in it. Yay, <laughs> Mimi! She hears the brother. <laughs> So. No, she probably, it's probably the UPS guy because he brings her a bone. Oh, my yeah. God. And the last few times, he's, it's been a new driver, and he decided he didn't leave her a bone, and she gets upset. Oh, that's, yeah. yeah, that's her upset. Yeah, we all want a bone. We <laughs> do. <laughs> Imagine that. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I, no comment. <laughs> no comment. We are alive. We are having fun. Yes, we are having fun, and yes. I am so thankful, and, and I want to get back to a little bit of the diversity and yeah. the advocacy yeah. that you do. Um, and, and children, I'm a big advocate yes, of youth, yes. and I'm a big advocate. I find I don't always go out of my comfort zone oh. either. Well, you're going to hang with me. Oh, good. And you can come hang with me. Yes. He's in the burbs, everybody. He is out in the burbs right now. I'm reading my phone, making rights and making lefts, <laughs> you know, 105th. I'm like, what? Whoa. <laughs> Did you think you were in farmland? No, but you know, it's funny because working for the 4-H kids, and for years I yeah. used to go out, and they would do these encampments, and they'd bring me to Fergus Falls and Outer Town East and Outer Town mm -hmm. West. and So I'm used to it. Right. And also having a cabin in Webster, Wisconsin. Woo, woo for Wisconsin. Yes. So I'm used to it. Yeah. I'm used to it all. Yeah. So, but it was it was funny, you know, because my staff put it in the phone, and, oh. you know, and then it would, like, I light up, like, turn right, turn left, you know. <laughs> and, you know, I wear glasses, so it's kind of complicated, like, okay, am I supposed to listen? Am I supposed to watch? I know. And then the traffic slows down, and I have a Subaru. Which is, you know, they have another nickname for the Subaru. And then, you know, if you get too close to a car, it stops. Oh, that has the adaptive. Oh, yeah. I'm oh. Like, oh. Too wow. Close. I'm kind of, that was the one thing that didn't come on my new car that I got a few years ago, but I'm kind of glad because yeah. I like to be close to people. Oh, my God. It, will, it, it shuts you out. It, yeah, it does. Hello to Philip. Hello to Mike and Doug and hey. Tommy and my, uh, another Mike. We've got several people on. If you are just tuning in, my name is Carla Berlin from Around Town TV, and I have philanthropist, producer, promoter, businessman, Twin Cities powerhouse, Richard Moody from I Am Moody. And we've been talking about his philanthropic work and a lot of the advocacy yeah. he does and a few of his events. Any other events that you, that we should be keeping our you know schedules open for? Uh, coming that up? I'm producing are going to be going to. Oh. I think, you know, it's always been fun is that the Mall of America does the Project Runway event where they bring back some alumni project, you know, runway designers. And the nice thing is they use a lot of amazing local talent, mm -hmm. which we have a lot of great talent. But I think so many times is that in all the business, if it's the news and the media, and I know they can testify, is that we push good talent out of here because we don't accept them and also pay them the their work yeah, and their rates. True. So we go to other markets and we just come home and chill and hey. And so I think, you know, the Mall of America, I know Neiman Marcus does it, Nordstrom's, they bring in a lot of great talent mm -hmm. and they and we're trying to mentor them to be better models. 
So, and right now I'm using a lot of African models and mm -hmm. I've done a photo shoot where models are from Kenya, Liberia, um, Guinea, Sudan, Ethiopia, Utrecht. Wow. Um, so it's crazy. And now I, one of the events I am doing, which is funny, talking about African words, mm -hmm. the red carpet host for the Voices Awards Dinner, which is wow. all these different African, you know, Individuals are coming through who have been selected in their communities as leaders. Wow. Yeah, so. So if we have a young um, person that's watching this, um, whether they're of color or not, yes. but let's say of color, yeah. and they're, they want to get into modeling, yeah. and they want to get into what you're doing and be a part of it, what, what would be your advice to them? I would think you, if you're going to get in the business, you have to understand you have to pay to play. You're going to have to get comps. Modeling is not on Facebook. Modeling is not modeling on Twitter or Snapchat, or Model Mayhem. It's going to, you know, reptile agencies, which we have five or six great agencies here, and they will help, you know, mentor you, mm -hmm. get the right pictures. And I would also say, as a man to women, modeling is not lingerie. And I would say, if you're a young person, always go with support. Mm -hmm. And if you're uncomfortable, get out. Yeah, if and it feels wrong, it is. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. You know, take your parent, even when I'm booking young talent with emails, I always put their parents on the email. Yeah. I want them to know the conversation is going down. So, smart. so that's what I would do, get with a great agency, know that you have to pay to play, get pictures, get a comp, and you know, have fun. But know that you're in the business to have fun. And when you're not having fun, get out. Yeah. You know, if yeah. you're not feeling safe, get out. So smart. Yeah. That is so smart. Yeah. Do we, do you want to mention some of the agencies? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. we've got More Creative, you've got Meredith's, you've got Karen's, you've got the agency, you've got Babs, you've got casting companies. You know, I think I said Meredith, More Creative, Karen's. Yeah. Um, and they're great individuals. I went to college with Wayman, Susan Wayman, oh. and everything like that. And, you know, also I would say, too, with the agency thing is, the model doesn't get paid unless the agency gets paid. The agency's not getting paid unless the model's getting paid. So you have to promote us, push us out there. And also, no, you don't just model in Minneapolis. You can model in Milwaukee, which is huge. You can model in Madison, Wisconsin, and St. Louis. You can model in second-tier agencies. Everyone thinks you have to model in New York or L.A. Mm -hmm. L.A., they all want to be actresses. In Vegas, they all want to be dancers. <laughs> yeah, I'm only saying. You know, a lot of clear heels right, and right. everything like that. So, you know, you know, you make a lot more money with J.C. Penney's and Coles and Carson Perry right. Scott and everything like that. I'm very fun and very inappropriate sometimes. Well, and that's what I love about <laughs> Richard is I've always had, wherever I am, we always have a blast. I know. I'm bad. Yeah, no, but I'm naughty. Good. Hello naughty. to Leslie and Denise. And now my mom wrote, first she said mom is watching, now she says grandma is watching. Yes. Well, and we see you. Hello to Harry Alger. He's yeah. also, um, he's a, a model and he does a lot in the theater arts oh, here nice. in the Twin Cities. Um, and uh, we, I just really appreciate you all tuning in. If you have questions, but or maybe you're watching and you don't want to ask publicly. But ask you, us. Yeah, and if you're not comfortable, you can private message both Richard and yes. I. Well, he's tagged in all the posts and everything, but um, he, he has shared this, so you can go yeah. to the share and then go to his messenger yeah. and message him. I needed help. I'm sorry. I'm 61. <laughs> no. I, no. And I wear glasses. Well, that's what it is, really. It's the reader thing. And I have that. I did have some eye surgery, but for certain things, I still have to put my glasses on. We've got Zao's watching. Hello. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Karen Servo's other half. Um, yes. We really appreciate all He's one of our dandies, by the way. Oh, he and is. And Zao, who's watching, is also an amazing, talented jeweler. Oh, I didn't know that. Amazing. I know he's talented no, in many very things, talented. but of course he's we know Karen is. And and Karen, so. yeah, just, hey, Zah. Yeah, and hello to Karen if she's tuning yeah, in. That is one woman that I love because she's always an advocate for yeah. her girlfriends. Yes, she's, she's a not star. one of those caddy, no, you know, no, 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 none of that going on. So um, I do want to uh, also encourage you because this is where one of the places that I've had the chance to get to know uh, Richard better. But Dancing with the Twin City yeah. Celebrities is coming up on Saturday, June second. June second. Yes. So make sure, and you can still get tickets, you can Please still come. support the celebrities. What I love about that event, there's a ton of causes. There's, of course, the, the main cause for lymphoma and leukemia, but each of the celebrity dancers has a cause, so that when you're there, you're supporting so many great causes and people, and they put their heart and soul into it, as do the judges, and they yes. have fun, and another good event to be a it's part a of. It's a wonderful event, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. You know, we make, they raise a lot of money and everything like that, which also says, you know, Minnesota Nice is really true. Mm -hmm. I mean, Minnesota Nice, we have the hearts to go. We're the second largest 
philanthropic state in How the country. Not yes, that. Okay. Two. I know we're in the top, but to give, you okay. know, with also our nineteen Fortune five hundred companies, but just it's our in our nature, it's in our DNA to support anyone and everyone. You know, wow. so that's it's a blessing to live in the Twin Cities. Well, and aren't we? Don't we have some of the mo the most number of uh, nonprofits as well? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I did know that. And okay. eighty six theater companies as well. So we've got fabulous theater companies. A lot of if it's Penumbra, you know, mixed blood. You've got the Guthrie, all the different things of the Guthrie, and so you know it's amazing the arts and the talent and just the love that you can get in all different types of um, avenues in the Twin Cities. I agree. And go outdoors, black folks. We do swim. <laughs> go to the lake. Get your canoes out, get your kayaks, get your paddle boards. Right. Oh, yeah. my gosh. So when I asked you to be on the show, and we were talking, and I was you know, saying we can talk about whatever we want, did you have anything in mind that I haven't touched on? No. I said yes because it's you. Oh. I mean, and, and that's all that was important. I made, I made it happen. I changed my dates around or made it work, and you work with my schedule. And I said yes. I mean, who wouldn't? You're fabulous. You have a oh. big heart. You have a beautiful studio here at home. And why wouldn't they want to be a part of all this? And thank you for letting me be on the air. Oh, and to tell my story and so many of other people's stories. Well, and that's what it's about, is I feel like if we share stories, then people realize they're not alone. Yes. And that there are a lot of people, and it doesn't matter what color you are, we're all struggling at something. We all have challenges. We all have, I always say, even the fugly days where you feel just not great. And it's important that we're advocates for one another, but especially for the underdog. Yes. Yeah, and, and that I know you are, and that's so important. No, and I really appreciate if you're just you know tuned in, you're like, well, who is that person? Yeah. Most people, a lot of people, and most people do know who you no, are, but if you're just okay. tuning in, I am Carla Berlin from Around Town TV, and I have the Twin Cities powerhouse, Richard Moody from I Am Moody here, and he's a big philanthropist and advocate um, of racial diversity, yeah. and I have been lucky to work with him on a few projects, and just so grateful that you could be with us. No, I'm, I'm honored to be here. Thank and, you so much. Oh, you're welcome. And as if anybody wants to reach you to have you promote their event or produce their event, you can go to um, www.iammoody.com, mm -hmm. like I am legend, I am moody.com. And the crazy thing is, my last name is Moody, and people would always go, are you moody? And now I give them my card or the website, I am moody.com, which is great for my nephews and nieces. We now have a family tattoo <laughs> in Chinese oh, that moody. actually works because it's a funny thing. You know, we get tattoos and you're like, oh God, well, this was the person hateful who gave it to me. And I tell the story is at the pool in Vegas with my swimsuit on, probably a Speedo, on my stomach, and someone says, oh, moody, no competition. So, it is literal. It is in Japanese. And so now my six nephews now have it. They're wrestlers and MIA fighters, and they're on their shoulders and their backs and on their thighs. And so, oh, oh Muti, no competition. Oh, I love it. Yes. That reminds me of a funny story. So, when we lived in Chaska, we used yeah. to go over to the nail gallery, yeah. and most of the Vietnamese in there don't speak very good English. Yes. And but they love mom, yes. and they worked with her chemo, taking her nails, yes. and they'd even do gels on her toes. Yes. And, one time she couldn't go with me, and yes. so I went in, and the lady goes, Kala, your mommy not die yet. Uh. <laughs> I was like, no, she's alive. She's yeah, alive. She's still alive. And yeah. we laugh. So then now sometimes I'll come home from getting my nails or toes done, and my mom will go, your mommy not die yet. <laughs> She'll even repeat it. Uh. Yeah, it's diversity in the Twin Cities, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and I loved what you said to her about her dollhouse when uh. you first got here tonight. My oh. mom has a restored dollhouse that I've posted a lot on Facebook, yes. and she was showing Richard. And I loved it. And so with the dollhouse, it's, and it's, it spins. It's quite you know technical, and there's lights and everything like that. And she's got a winter a display right now, which she hasn't taken down because we had a blizzard, so she's right in sync with timing. But I was very curious where the, the black help was. Oh, I've got to find some black help. And then she's like, no, we'll get white help. I said, girl, you are fabulous. She's already thinking we're all about diversity, so we can she all work together. She's always been yeah, like that. Yeah, so That's, really I was raised. I'm very lucky. I was yeah, raised with yeah. parents that are just awesome. Of course, our 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 pal Di wrote Richard Moody preach, and yes. Kate said, "What a brand! I am Moody, ah, uh, the makeup extraordinaire artist, uh, Susan Swan." Oh, love well, Susan. I don't yeah, do anything without Susan. Oh, I know. And yeah. the first time that I was able to have her do my makeup was at your event um, when I was working for yeah. you for Kit, and then I got to meet her at um, some other friends' homes oh, last year. Oh, we do year. a lot of things with Susan. Yeah. You know, the interesting thing about the Twin Cities, and I know that our technical support can 
Try, yeah. Believe this. We tend to work with the same people because they understand mm -hmm. our drive. They understand our focus. Sometimes they understand when we're, our voices might rise up. Yeah. But they're also credible and they're also quality. Yeah. And for me, sometimes people see me as a person of color that I surround myself with just a black staff or something like that. And that's not the case. Yeah. I surround myself with friends who deliver the job. And yeah. for Susan, for example, she did, you know, Glamorama for seven, eight years. Yeah. She was a lead makeup artist. And actually... All our girls and the boys too love her. They call her Mama Sue, you know, because she's she's you know, so talented yeah, yeah. and and so many different things yeah, from her yeah, flowers yeah, to the makeup yeah, to yeah. Produce, helping produce yeah. shows. So I have all a team that work. I never do without the team. You know, we have we work for Wilson's Leather. Yeah. And we have all kinds of variety of clients, and I have the same team that supports me because you know the truth is there's no I in team. Mm -hmm. You know, so we all make this happen, and I can't be me without the team. Well, and she just wrote, I am no one without Moody behind me. Wow. And she wrote, hey there. And um, we did have, a, I was just going to wrap up. We had a few people jump online. Wow. So I don't know if there's anything else um, that you would like to repeat or share that we've already talked about. I would think if you're going to look for anything philanthropic, you know, if you're going to give, give in your community. Yeah. You know, we have so many schools and people that need things. If you're going to donate clothing, just take it to, you know, their, their counselors because, you know, some people are shy and private, but everyone needs something. And if you see a homeless person, you know, take them to McDonald's, buy them a cup of coffee, buy them a meal. You know, because we don't know their stories. That's true. But just a warm, hot cup of coffee or just a smile sometimes gets a person through some challenges. Oh, and, you know, everybody goes through them. I don't care what economic status, yeah. how much education. Everybody goes through highs and lows in life, yeah. and um, so it's important to help Stay one consistent, another. you know, just stay consistent. I like consistent. to stay consistent. That's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. So in addition to your website, I want you to say that one more time, for <laughs> events and if they want to hire you. Yep, if you want to hire me or events, it's immoody.com. My email is rmoody.pod at gmail.com. And are all the events we've been talking about listed on there, or they will be? There's also an I Am Moody event page. There's also okay. There's a calendar on the I Am Moody website. And, oh, fun! Yeah. That's great. And I'm on Facebook. Yes. Twitter, I, yeah. Instagram, Snapchat. Perfect. Yeah, I know. Tweet. I, well, I was Twitter. Yeah. I tweet. He was tweeting. Well, he said to me, "Oh, you were like taking me all over." Oh, I know. Right? And I'm just going to timeline. <laughs> Do you believe I had a woman ask me about a week ago, so do you know anything? And she follows me on social media. Do you know anything about social media? <laughs> uh, da in Minnesota. Yeah, sure, you bet you talk to me. Come on, good shoes. And she really, it was a real authentic question. I'm yeah, like, yeah. here, I should have just said, call Richard. Yeah. Oof, da. <laughs> yeah, oof, da. Oh, Dennis and Bambi. Dennis. Oh, um, my God. Yeah, Linda Larson doing the thumbs up. Yes. Um, well, I really, really am grateful to all of you who tuned in. Um, I, what a pleasure to have someone that's such a bright light, um, Richard Moody from I Am Moody, a promoter, producer, businessman, and philanthropist. Uh, that's how you're most known and all, and all of your producing of your shows. Yeah. But definitely, you are a Twin Cities powerhouse. You are an influencer, and I am just... What a fun time to have yeah, you here. Thank you. Should we go have some fun now behind? Say goodbye to the camera. And goodbye, camera. I get to have a beer. I get to have beer with mom. With mom. With, well, and and dad and me and Di and Scott. Do we have another question, I think? Do we? Oh, no, this oh. is another personal one. Oh, Alan. Alan joined us too. Thank you. Yep, we're just saying hello. We've had you know, a lot of people jumping in and out. And yeah, we're really grateful. So we just talked about several different events coming up. And if you're something caught your eye but you're like wait i don't know the date or whatever please reach out to richard or myself and we'll get you involved and if you're someone who um is really learning about the the modeling industry or the show industry and you want to hire him or you want to be a part yeah. he knows what he's doing we try yeah. but most importantly support the twin cities and yeah. support the arts you absolutely know. we have 86 different theater companies and support and support wow. young people because they're our future well, and if you'd like to learn any more information and you're not able to reach him, please reach out to me at around-town.tv or you can email me at carla at around-town.tv um, or you can give me a call at 952-934-0006. Do we have another? One more. One more. Oh, we had Vic. Oh, Vic Schaefer's watching. Hello, Vic. Hey, Vic. Yeah, great. No, we appreciate everyone who's been tuning in. I am really grateful to have been uh, bringing you the best kept secrets and businesses as well as some of Minnesota's lifestyle and business experts for 16 years. Wow. Um, I think this is our 233rd edition. We've aired over 15,000 times in the Twin Cities. Um, wow. Someone said, wow, longer than Mr. Rogers. It's like, <laughs> oh, wow, 
There you go. Mr. Ed. Remember Mr. Ed? Yes, that's from our generation. Yes. Mr. Ed. Um, but I really appreciate you tuning in, and this will be posted on 18 different social mediums, so if you just tuned in and went, wait, you can't go, I'm just, just tuning in, yes. it will be posted for your uh, review. I really appreciate you tuning in. Anything else you want to say before we really do say goodbye? This is I like a say, Minnesota goodbye. Most importantly, be you, be yourself, mm -hmm. be kind, and love each other. Uh, I love it. Uh, thanks again. We'll see you next Tuesday Bye. night, 7 p.m. I hope I get to time. come back. Oh, you will. Thanks.